So I want to take this opportunity to define for you the discovery process in Config Manager 2012. Very similar to the discovery process that you might have had in previous versions of Config Manager. Discovery is all about, from a central console in your Config Manager site, discovering devices that might become potential clients or could become clients. Now, a client in the Config Manager environment is any system that has the client software installed, and that's what makes it manageable. But a discovered device can still have information in the database about that device, like its computer name, uh, maybe its operating system, maybe some basic information, MAC address, and so on. So we need to discover every single device, every single potential client in the environment, and then once it's discovered, we could push out the client and we can start to manage those devices. So we want to go through this discovery process. Now, as a quick side note, we're not only discovering computers or devices, we're also discovering users. We want to have information about the people in our environment as well. So let's go ahead and diagram for you this process. At the center of our site is our primary site server, which is connected to the database. And in the database is information about everything, all of the configuration, as well as the uh, information about discovered devices. So every single computer that is either a client or is just simply a discovered device in the environment will have a record in the database. So we have tables and tables full of information about devices on our network. Now somewhere out on our network are computers. We got some servers, we got some desktops, we got some laptops, a number of different devices that exist on the network. Some of these devices might be on subnet A, some of them might be on subnet B, some of them are on subnet C. Some of them might be in a completely different branch office location on a totally different network and different sets of subnets and IP ranges and so on. Some of these computers exist in our Active Directory because they are domain joined computers. So this triangle is representative of an Active Directory environment. Computers join the Active Directory domain when they're a part of your corporate environment. And so a computer will have information in the Active Directory already if it's a domain joined computer. However, some of these computers may not be a part or a member of your Active Directory domain. They might be work group computers, or they could be a member of a different domain. They're not a part of your Active Directory. But here lies the computers and devices on our network and how they're associated with our corporate Active Directory. Now, we come along in our Config Manager environment, and we want to get information about all of our computers and mobile devices and other types of devices. We want to get records in the database. So we have to perform discovery. Discovery is the process where our site server will send out signals on the network where it's scanning the network and gathering information from computers that respond. So a number of ways that we can do this. We can send out a network discovery, as it's called. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. I could scan a particular subnet where I'm running a scan across all the IP addresses on that subnet and seeing if any of those computers respond. And when they respond, they're going to respond with some basic information, the name of the computer, the IP address of the computer, the MAC address of the computer, some basic information that is being sent back. Now, we can scan multiple subnets. We can scan a range of IP addresses as well. So when we do that, we might be scanning across several subnets at the same time because they're included in that range of, uh, of IP addresses. Those could be IPv4 ranges. It could also be IPv6 scans if we're going to be working in an IPv6 environment. Not many of us are working in IPv6 yet, but you might be. We could also send a network discovery information across to other sites in other locations, and we designate them by specifying uh, that we have a particular subnet. Now, another thing that we could do is we could scan an Active Directory site. So a branch office location may be defined as an AD site. 
Now, to get that information, we would have had to have queried the Active Directory to pull in information about all of the sites uh, that we already have and what network ranges or subnets those sites are associated with. And we can utilize that infrastructure to say, hey, let's discover computers in our Houston office. And we already have that office defined in our Active Directory, so we could scan for sites. These are all examples of network discovery. The problem with network discovery is we don't necessarily get particularly detailed information. We may not get information about the operating system on those computers. We may not get information um, about, uh, well, first of all, we may not even get certain responses. If we've got a Windows firewall running on those computers, it may block the scan completely. And so we may not discover those computers at all in those instances. So there's another type of discovery that would be particularly useful for um, an Active Directory corporate environment, which is called AD discovery or Active Directory discovery. This is where we're going to, instead of just scanning the network, we're going to run a query against our Active Directory. The query may run against a certain subset of the Active Directory, maybe a particular OU or organizational unit uh, or a whole structure of an OU. Uh, maybe we're going to scan the entire Active Directory domain, and we might do an Active Directory computer discovery, which would scan the entire uh, designated namespace for uh, computer objects in the Active Directory. It could be an Active Directory user discovery, and this is really the only way to gather information about users and the people in our organization, is to scan the Active Directory. Either way, whether we're doing a network discovery and pulling in information on those users, uh, or on those devices rather, or whether we're doing an Active Directory query and pulling in device information and user information, we are getting information into our database. And what it generates is what's called a DDR, a device discovery record. Those are records then that get entered into the database so that we can see through the Config Manager console we can see all of this information and start to manage these elements. We need to run a user discovery at some point if we plan on deploying applications to users, as an example. Now, we can always, once we've discovered devices, we can always deploy applications to devices, but there's some advanced functionality now in the 2012 version of Config Manager that allows us to deploy to users and have some intelligence about which computers belong to those users. So there's a lot of flexibility in how we work in this environment, but the, one of the first tasks that we have to perform is the process of discovery.